Coral reefs are referred to as the rainforest of the sea. They cover 1% of the Earth's surface and are home to over 25% of all marine fish species. The Coral Triangle is recognised as the epicentre for marine biodiversity. This zone covers an area of approximately 6 million kilometres squared, shrouding parts or the entirety of six countries, including Malaysia and Borneo. In addition, the Coral Triangle's blue economy provides for over 120 million people. The remote island of Pom Pom sits 30 kilometers off the coast of Sampona a small town situated on the island of Borneo. With its palm fringed shoreline and crystal clear waters, the island seems like a paradise. However, beneath the surface, Pom Pom bears tragic scars of a destructive past. The majority of reef has been destroyed by dynamite fishing. By far the most destructive method of fishing. It essentially involves throwing a handmade bomb into the water. Indiscriminately killing and decimating everything within range. Every single piece of plastic ever created is still in existence today. The shoreline of Pom Pom is constantly swamped with thousands and thousands of pieces of plastic debris, which make their way from mainland Borneo and beyond. So it's a pretty common fact that the coral reefs of today are in serious trouble. They're actually being destroyed at a rate of about 2 to 3 percent each year. At the Tropical Research and Conservation Centre, we work on proactive solutions for coral reef restoration. For the last six years, Track has been working towards restoring the reef and its associated fish community. With the help of our dedicated volunteers and working closely with the local community. At TRAC, we offer dive courses, a marine science A-level course and education to our volunteers through hands-on direct action conservation by conducting various science surveys, artificial reef construction, underwater and beach cleanups and finding proactive ways to reuse the waste that washes up on our beach. So corals or reefs in general have a very important function in the bigger marine ecosystem. Our main issue or problem with the house reef of the Pompom track is that the slope is very steep. It's 
so it's basically just a, a desert of gravel. So our main aim um, is to get that slope stabilized, so actual natural settling can happen. Of course we'll help it out by actually planting um, coral fragments and stuff like that. So one of the things that we do is we make step reefs. Basically it's just a concrete base with bottles. And then we make indentations where we can actually plant biscuits. So biscuits is another thing that we do. Basically just a small concrete base where we put fragments of coral. We kind of find a nice balance with sponges and so coral to stabilize that upper slope. Another thing we do is biodiversity surveys. So how many species we have um, in terms of fish, inverts, everything. We're getting there slowly. In the five years that Trek has been here, um, fish populations have definitely increased by up to 100 to 300 percent for some species. But whatever we do, as long as we don't stabilize that slope, nothing is actually going to work. I want to save our oceans. I want to save our world from what my species has done to it. To do that, one has to be a part of the solution. And that time is now. Change your habits. Minimise your footprint. Say no to plastic and go waste free. Be a voice. This planet needs people who will fight for it. Spend time in the underwater world and you will understand what we are trying to save. It's not too late.